In this episode of Fun Time with Pepper, astronaut Pepper visits the planet Mercury. There, she talks with Mercury about fun facts of this very hot planet. Do you think this planet will be one you would want to visit? Fun Time with Pepper Hello everybody, today we're on our way to Mercury, the planet with the fastest orbit around the sun. Come with me and let's see if we can discover Mercury. Hello Mercury. Hello Pepper, it's nice of you to visit. I was wondering if there was something you could share about yourself. Why yes, first of all, I'm the closest planet to the sun. Hey, if you have heat shields, come on down to the surface and we'll have a conversation. I can tell you all about Mercury. I'm only about 36 million miles away from the sun, so that's why the sunny side of my surface is always so very hot. I see why you're so hot. Mercury landing complete. Heat shields activated. Mercury, you're so rocky and gray. Yeah, I'm not as colorful as some of the other planets, but I still have my own charm, don't I? You definitely do. Oh, I feel so light. What you're feeling is a reduced gravitational pull. I'm the smallest planet in the solar system, and therefore my gravitational pull is much less than that of Earth. A 100 pound person on Earth is only 38 pounds here on Mercury. So is it true you're the fastest planet around the sun? Oh, absolutely. I zip around the sun in just 88 days. That makes it the shortest year in the entire solar system. So if I lived here, I'd have a birthday every 88 days? That's awesome! That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow, it's boiling here. Is it always this hot? Only on one side, the side that's facing the sun, gets up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. But turn me around to my dark side, I'm colder than a freezer. I'm a minus 333 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're like a planet of opposites. Yep, I'm a bit extreme, but that's because I don't have an atmosphere to keep the heat in. So it just zips right off me into outer space. One of the reasons I heat up so much is because of my rotation. The time between night and day is 59 Earth days. So that's a long time for your surface to be facing the sun. That's another reason why the surface that's facing away from the sun is so very cold. I don't see if you have a moon or not. Moon? What's a moon? You don't know what a moon is? <laughs> I was just kidding. I don't have any moons, probably because I'm so close to the sun. Look at this, it's like a giant bowl in the ground. Because I don't have much of an atmosphere, meteorites zoom in and hit my surface. See that really big one over there? That's Caloris Basin. That's so large you could put a small country inside of it. It's like you have all these stories written right on your surface. Exactly. Each crater is like a Another page in my space history book. Can you tell me about your orbit? Yes, I have an elliptical orbit rather than a circular orbit like most of the other planets. Not many planets have an elliptical orbit like I do. Oh, that's amazing. Mercury, I have learned so much. Like why you have such wild temperatures and how fast you zoom around the sun. I have one last question. Why are you called Mercury? Ah. That's a great question. I was actually named after a Roman god, Mercury. He was a speedy messenger that delivered messages for the other gods. The Romans thought my speedy orbit was a good fit for that name. It's perfect. You're, after all, the fastest planet. Goodbye, Mercury. Until next time. Hey, thanks for visiting, Pepper. It was nice seeing you again. That was a lot of fun visiting Mercury. Remember, if you visit here, make sure and take your sunscreen. Captain Pepper signing off.